need some coins for golden tickets, head on over to rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I figured I'll bring out the face cam for today's video. It's been quite a while since I actually used face cam. So I figured today would be a great time to use it. So we have my NAT uh, 97 overall plus ultimate legend pack. Now of course uh, we actually needed two to actually get this this weekend and they ended up giving us two of these 85 overall legends to actually be able to get the free ultimate legend for this weekend so big shout out to you for that for the ultimate legend weekly giveaway set now with that being said there's literally so many different cards that we can get and this is a fantasy pack so we can get literally any of these cards now I'm probably also going to do a weekly trade-in but I'll save that for after uh, we do the UL giveaway actually I should probably do that first so let me see if I actually I actually do have the gold tokens. We're gonna go ahead and do this first, and then we're gonna do the um the ultimate fantasy pack. But I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and if you guys haven't seen my video from earlier today, uh, what I did was open up a ton of the ultimate fantasy packs because you can actually buy them with the coins now, and they're like 60k. And open up a ton of them, and I'm actually giving away my two best pulls. Not gonna spoil who my two best pulls are, but one of them is actually pretty pretty decent so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out and also comment down below in that video not in this one why you should win and also like and subscribe and leave a way to contact you again i am only on xbox unfortunately but uh, in terms of the weekly trading what we can possibly get i actually already have the 93 jonathan ogden but i can get the 96 which is currently going for about 140k so really i mean doesn't really matter who we pull not really uh, 95 Jonathan Ogden going for about 150k I've pulled those two then I'll be making a pretty decent amount of coins back Woodley I'd imagine isn't going for that much uh, 96 overall Woodley is about 55k and then we also have the 95 Lamar Woodley which is 180k okay so that's actually pretty dang good but we'll go ahead and open up the uh, weekly trade-in, check the price on that card, and then we will come back and take a look at all the Ultimate Legends that we could possibly pull out of the Ultimate Legend weekly giveaway set. Now also, uh, like I said before in a couple videos ago, we should be getting Madden 19 Ultimate Team info extremely soon because a ton of the Game Changers and everybody, like the Game Changer uh, YouTubers, EA Game Changers, they have been flying all over the place and everyone's suspecting that they're all in the same place and they actually are, and that's Orlando. So they're actually be able to get some uh, Madden 19 Ultimate Team gameplay early, I'm pretty sure. So we can expect maybe some pack openings to be dropping probably within the week or so I'd imagine uh, EA definitely wants to tease it a little bit because they really have not done the best job of revealing too much Madden 19 information this year as I accidentally opened up the pack by hitting A and we're gonna get 93 Woodley well definitely could have been a lot worse but let's go ahead and check the price on him probably not going for that much to be honest but uh, like I did say we pretty much uh, are guaranteed to get some new gameplay coming out this week or next week possibly but hopefully this week uh, but Madden 19 Ultimate Team information probably gonna be some packs maybe we'll see a couple of the sets the solo challenges uh, some elite cards that are actually in the game I definitely would enjoy that but hopefully we get that very soon I know RBT I think uh, I think Bengal and, I'm, and probably K, I don't know who else exactly is down there, but definitely be on the lookout for some gameplay from those guys and also look around and maybe ask a couple of them if I can use some of their gameplay to bring you guys some information. But like I said before, 97 plus NAT UL. Now we get four different choices out of this pack and I've actually seen a lot of people complaining about this pack. Uh, I know some people have gotten like three of the same cards. Like somebody pulled, I think, Marino three times and they got like Bruce Allen or something like that the fourth time. So it's definitely possible you get like two or three of the same cards. I would get Woodley, Ogden, Chris Carter. Uh, essentially, I'm going to show you guys my team right now. Now, basically what I plan on doing is there's not really much else I can do with my team. Uh, in terms of what you guys should be doing, honestly, would be to sell everyone that you possibly can. 
and just do as many Rick and Mirrors as you can because that's how you want to prepare for Madden 19. Now I'm also going to be making another video probably within a couple days telling you guys how to be the most possible prepared that you can for Madden 19. But this is the team that I have and honestly I don't play that much. Um, but if I end up getting someone really good that I haven't used, I'll definitely have to try them out. They already have Jerry Rice, Calvin Johnson as our UL wide receiver, so definitely don't want to pull one of them. Uh, QB already have Baker, who's NAT, so don't really care for another uh, quarterback, of course. Defensively, you guys can see the team. We don't have a defensive tackle number one because I actually put uh, Aaron Donald into that, uh, what's the set, the power up set for the rookie premieres to get one of the tokens basically so i can actually do more rick and mirror cards because i've done quite a few so far which i will show you guys how many of those i've actually done how many i plan to do more after we go ahead and get into this pack so hope you guys are enjoying the video and if you are smack the like button uh, i might be dropping another video today if not just check out the one that i uploaded earlier today and definitely be on the lookout for some videos tomorrow have some very very exciting news for tomorrow's video but let's go ahead and get this ultimate legend giveaway set probably gonna open up uh, the fan appreciation packs we're on the videos tomorrow so you get 98 willie mcginnis so i mean toughness chemistry meh could be a little bit better my current left outside linebacker though is Michael Kendrick, so I mean definitely a big difference, uh, 89 speed, 92 strength, 94 tackle, 97 play rate, 94 block shed, 96 power move, and a 94 finesse, also a secure uh, tackler with a 91 hit power, second card, 99 Jerry Rice, literally the same exact Jerry Rice that I already have, same chems and everything. Move the sticks and toughness times too, so I definitely don't want to go with Jerry Rice. I uh, already have a pretty good receiving core, so obviously two Jerry Rices. Can't even have two Jerry Rices. 99 Lamar Woodley. This card literally just came out this weekend. That is a great freaking pull. Now, once again, you compare him to, I'll just compare him to Terrell Suggs. 91 speed, 97 strength. This card is ridiculous. 99 tackling, 98 player, 99 block shed, 99 power move, 95 finesse move, and a 99 hit power. Card is crazy good. He also has an acceleration of 97, which is just insane. Literally, if this card came out like a month ago, everybody will be going crazy about how good this dang card is. With 99 block shed, power move, tackling, and such high speed right off the start with 99 hit power, the card's insane. Plus, he has it out of the way cam and under pressure. I wish he had secure tackling, it's not under pressure, but still a great freaking card. Last card, 98 D wear. Obviously, it's it's Demarcus Ware. Card's pretty good. 97 block shed, 98 power, 90 speed, 90 strength. But just taking a look at all the people we pulled, I'm 110% going with Lamar Woodley as my pull. Definitely will not regret that one. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade him to left outside linebacker. We can actually check out his stats. I think I'm going to some chemistry boost on him now. But I don't know how much of a chemistry boost he will get. But I do want to show you guys which rookie premieres I've done. And ask you guys, which rookie premiere should I do next? Because honestly, I'm not too sure. Uh, but he does have 98 strength and 92 speed. Now, I do have John Madden. So he actually gets a little bit of a boost from that. But let's go ahead and show you guys the rookie premiere sets that I've done. And I kind of want your opinions on which one I should do next. So I'm not that high on Sam Darnold. Calvin Ridley. Again, I'm not the highest on him because of the fact that he does play with Julio Jones, of course. People say because he plays with Julio, that will lead to him getting more targets, but uh, Julio's still the number one receiver, obviously. Ridley's a deep threat. Can he win off to rookie of the year? I don't think so. Uh, I really think that Barkley has the best chance of winning off to rookie of the year because it's not a shared backfield. I believe they do have Jonathan Stewart now, but really he's not going to take carries away from Barkley. Uh, Ridley, you already have some pretty decent receivers. You have Sanu, and you also have Julio. Are you really going to throw to Ridley that much? I really don't think he's going to have that good of a year. Uh, Hayden Hurst, it's a tight end. Quinton Nelson, this is another possibility. He's been extremely high rated. Could he get like a Mutt Heroes card or something like that? If he does good, he gets a football outside upgrade. It's 
it might be worth a zoom, but he's obviously not going to win like Rookie of the Year or anything. Uh, Bradley Chubb, I'm actually working on getting Bradley Chubb done. Now, I'm not really the highest on Bradley Chubb because of the fact that he does play with Von Miller. How many sacks can he get with Miller on the edge? But it could be kind of one of two ways. One, he takes away from Miller and he gets more sacks because of the fact that Von Miller's on the other side or the fact that he's going to take on more pressure and Von Miller will get more sacks. Honestly, not sure what that one's going to go. Leighton, uh, I'm a Cowboys fan, but he's a 4-3. I believe he's going to be playing middle linebacker, though. And I don't know if he's going to start or he's going to be split in time with Jalen Smith. I'm honestly not sure about that one. Raquan Smith, just, in my opinion, not the type of linebacker for me. I like to use my middle linebackers. And Raquan Smith is pretty fast, but he's not, you know, Ryan Shazier or Deion Jones. And of course, I already have Denzel Ward and Thurman James done, so I want to get Bradley Chubb done, and then I want to do at least one or two more, so let me know down below which ones I should do, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Let me know down below which work premieres you guys have done, and also, who did you get out of your UL giveaway set? I know a lot of you guys are actually like one or two short of it, so unfortunately for you guys, but uh, we ended up pulling a pretty good card in Lamar Woodley, and as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, Smack the like button, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys next time.